Hello there. In this video, I would like to show you how you can then further refine the settings in your uh, Google Meet. In the earlier videos you have seen, I've gone through the dashboard here. It's a very simple dashboard and also how you can use this present now to do a PowerPoint or website presentation. So in here, I like to go to these three dots. If you see here, right at the bottom right hand corner, if you click on that, it says more option. You can actually change the layout. So the one I've mentioned in the earlier video on Google Meet about installing an extension called Grid View, you may not have to use it because here if you click on this change layout, you get this um, layout. You can change the you can change the layout by the sidebar with a spotlight just showing say one or two presenter and then you can have tile so if you want the grid view you can just click on tile and it would show about 16 i think participants at one time and then what else do you see here on set in settings you can have full screen you can turn on the caption which is also here at the bottom you can further set up your microphone and video click on settings here uh, I have an external microphone because I'm recording my um, video, my video using Streamflow, and then I use my speakers is a headphone built in. Yeah, if you have an extra, um, if you're using an external headphones, then it'll be shown here. Okay, and you can further test it if you want to. And here, after the audio, you can see a video tab, and you can click on the camera if you have. A second camera like Logitech or other camera you'll shown here as well at the moment my camera is off and then you can also change the quality of the um, the video whether you want it to be high definition or at the moment I keep it as standard definition and that's more than enough for a normal uh, meeting or video conferencing with your colleagues and with your students just to keep the data usage to a minimum that's important because sometimes your students or your colleague uh, are located at a rural area where their internet speed or the data as well are not so great. Yeah, So maybe you need to keep this in mind as well when you actually using Google Meet or even Zoom as well. If you want to keep it um, really smooth during the video conferencing, I suggest that you turn off the camera and only use the audio. Uh, receive as well so this is to send this is to receive just keep it as well at 360 pixel and you can keep it as let's see the options that you have you can have it at high definition you can have a standard definition 360 pixel and you can actually keep it at standard definition 360 pixel at one video at a time so there are options here and you can also have option where I mentioned earlier to just keep only the audio. Yeah. So if you know that your colleagues or your students are actually located away in the rural area where data is scarce, where the internet uh, speed is slow, maybe the option that you can choose is this last two options. Yeah. Okay. And then next, what else? Let's have a look at general. Leave it as it is. By default, it will report additional diagnostic um, information to help improve Google Meet. And after you have done that, you just click done. And let's just have a look at what else. This is to report a problem. This is to report abuse and this is for help. And if you have more codes coming in, this is earlier. If you see, I've mentioned about grid view. This is where you can have the different options where you have uh, you include yourself in the grid, you enable grid view by default, which is okay when I have more than one, more than two. Be nice to have uh, a nice grid view there. And you can also have, uh, you can enable screen capture mode as well. And this is to say how many participants in the meet. Okay, this is if you want to chat. Because sometimes when you, for example, have a presenter presenting on your on their own and you have participants uh, listening to the presenter like a webinar mode you can ask the participants to keep sending in uh, questions as the talk is going on 
and the moderator can select some questions by the end of the session during the Q&A. Okay, um, that's the time and that's about it. That really, that is really nice, that uh, particular audio, you know, uh, signal that tells you who's actually active on the screen at the moment. This is a nice touch in Google Meet. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe or leave your comments in the bottom of the video. I'd like to hear from you and I see you in the next video.